Change is coming to the city of Charleston with Mayor Joe Riley leaving office for good later today. Mayor elect John Tecklenburg will be sworn in. News 2's Annie Taylor has much more on what Mayor elect Tecklenburg is planning to do after today. Annie? Hey, good morning, Brad. I do, but can you believe it? It is a huge day here in Charleston. The city hasn't seen this in over 40 years. And today, right behind me on the steps of City Hall, folks will gather to watch John Tech Lindbergh be sworn in to become the new mayor of Charleston. Now, before he takes his oath in office, the soon to be new mayor of Charleston sat down with News 2 to tell us more about becoming a leader. The business owner and community member is a father of five and says, now to the his children are grown, he feels it's time to turn the page and begin the next chapter in life. Working alongside Mayor Joe Riley for so long as the Director of Economic Development, he feels he's ready to continue to lead the city to greatness and face any challenges head on. Here's my vision and my eyeglasses that I will be looking through uh, with each and every issue and challenge that comes along is to ask the question, how does this impact the quality of life for our citizens um, and, and answer that question positively and that will impact our policy and, and how we address those issues uh, going forward. Uh, John Tecklenburg, his first day as mayor will be tomorrow, and there is a city council meeting slated for tomorrow night. The ceremony begins at noon today. The pre-ceremony for the inauguration begins at 11. Now, if you're heading downtown this morning, whether it's to go to work or you have an appointment, there are some road closures you want to know about. I'm going to send things over to Christine Kohler for a look at that. Hey, thank you very much, Annie, and you're absolutely right. Starting at about 8.30 is when we're going to see the first road closure, and it's going to be one block here of Broad Street between Meeting and Church Street, and that will reopen at the early, or at the latest, I should say, at 3 o'clock. And then closing down at 11 will be two blocks of Broad Street between Church Street to King Street and Meeting Street from Queen Street to Trad Street, and those will be closed at 11 a.m. and reopen at the earliest, or at the latest, excuse me, again, at the latest at 3 o'clock this afternoon.